these blushes where did it go hey guys what's up welcome welcome back my name is tess today's video we're going to try on zara beauty i've hauled a bunch of stuff from bronzer we have eyeshadow we have the cheek trio we have lipsticks so i bought a bunch of stuff just to try it out for you guys if you were on their site and if you were ever interested in shopping for their makeup i found it extremely extremely confusing and difficult because there's no hand swatches so i'm here to hopefully give you guys some more information more swatches on zara beauty and letting you guys know if it's worth it or not so without further ado if you have not subscribed to my channel i would really really love for you to subscribe like this video and share with your friends i would really really appreciate that but without further ado let's get on with the video honestly is it necessary is zara beauty any good are you guys excited for it we shall find out so this has arrived at my doorstep i just kind of went on site and ordered a bunch of stuff you know what it's actually kind of hard to shop on their site because there's no swatches no description of any color and it is definitely a struggle shopping on their site i wonder why they will ever do that it probably just shows that they're actually like a fashion company not a professional beauty company you know you would expect there will be some sort of swatches but there's no swatches so i know i have to come through for you guys and test out swatch out um try it on my face for you guys because i know how hard it is when there's absolutely no review on my skin tone so yeah let's go ahead and jump into it okay so it kind of just like comes in in a little um, recycled little like a grocery bag like this it says there is no beauty only beauties all right all right let's take a look at the products really quickly or shall we just like jump right in let's go ahead and check okay so the first thing i opened up is this color in three cheek palettes it doesn't say what shade it, this is. So without the box, you would never know because it, it is just like a white um, plastic packaging. It does look nice, but I'm just like, where is the label? You don't tell me what color this is. I would never know. So this is the color that I got. So that's the blush palette. So I got two shades uh, for the bronzer because on the website, it is impossible to tell how light it is or how dark it is. There is absolutely no hand swatches, but you know, just a picture of the color, which is very, very confusing. So I got two shades. This is in the shade Sublime Intense. And this is the shade Light. All right, put them side by side. This is Light Bronze and this is Sublime Intense. All right, so this is the eyeshadow palette. It's called Ring of Green. This is what it looks like. I actually don't know what to expect out of this line. One thing I do want to know is that there's, there is absolutely no label, um, no mark nothing on the packaging so how am i supposed to know which one is which you know that kind of just throws me off a little bit all right so i also got a lipstick and it comes in like this and apparently it is like refillable you kind of need to take them apart and you pluck the um refiller inside you know what we'll figure it out later let's put some makeup on my face so We'll go from there. All right, so I already apply my base makeup, foundation, concealer. Let's go ahead and go into the bronzer really quickly. Let me do a little swatchy swatch. It actually feels quite smooth. One of those neut neutral color, not too yellow, not too red. So I don't know, maybe we'll get to enjoy it. It does get powdery though. So just make sure you dust it off and apply. I'm gonna do one 
One side with light bronze, the other side I want to do Sublime Intense, which is the darker color. All right, so on this side, we're going to the shade called Sublime Intense. Go ahead and swatch it. All right, so this definitely looks a little red. There's definitely a little bit of a sheen to it. This may be too dark for me. I can just sense it. It may be just too dark. Actually, this tone kind of seems like a contour, contour shade, more or so like a contour shade. You know, the tone of it kind of reminds me of the, um... yeah, it's, it's more like a contour than a bronzer, I would say. It's definitely deep, definitely a lot deeper than my skin tone for sure a lot deeper than what i would normally go for so this side is sublime intense and light browns is it me or this bronzer is kind of patchy i feel like it's kind of not that easy to buff into the skin i'm kind of not impressed so far first impression the bronzer is a hard pass for me i mean it just looks splotchy and find it it's not like one of those like seamless blends you might as well just like go with physician's formula butter bronzer you'll never go wrong with it it blends seamlessly like for the bronzer part you don't even need to bother i don't even want to use it again so that is a hard pass for me let's move on to try out the signature blush trio i think i'm just gonna go into the pink or right. also the pen size is small it's easier to kind of like mix them together but i think i'm just gonna mix the pink and the berry shade and pat it at the back of my hand first and then go in All right, let's pat this on first. We can buff it out later because like this brush is not like the best for blush, but I kind of just like, I have to clean my brushes really quickly. All right, so I just cleaned out this buffing brush. I'm going to buff it over. We're gonna go back to a little bit of that coral and then just like kind of re-intensify a little bit. And just a little bit left over buff it on the forehead and chin. Wow, these blushes are mind-blowingly average. Oh my God, it is so not good. This is just not good, you guys. There's absolutely nothing special about these blush. Besides, it is a little glowy, but other than that, it kind of grabs on my dry patches. And do you see there's a little weird patch there? Wow, how disappointing. Like I am baffled as to why they even need to bother to rebrand it. Anyway, let's move on to the eyeshadow, which I'm the most excited about. Let's hope that there's at least something good out of this line. So yeah, let's move on to the eye portion. Let's do a swatchy swatch. And I feel like it feels kind of creamy, pigmented. Let's hope that it does not let me down. I have some hope, not high hopes, but some hope for this. 
All right, let's go into this Toby transition. I'm using a BH Marble Lux number no. seven. The it is powdery, so I'm going to kind of fluff that through the inner. Just define my inner first. Okay, you know what? I give up. I'm just, I am, I think I am going to, you know what? I'm just going to go into this green. That is a beautiful green. I'm going to put that around. Just the lid to a little bit of an outer situation. All right, this is somewhat smooth, thank God. All right, I think I'm going to switch to a BH Rose Quartz number no. 7 brush. This is in like one of those smaller blending and I want to tuck this, fluff it in the crease like this. To kind of define the crease a little bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna use my finger and go into the shade. This really, really, really gorgeous, like deep sea kind of a blue shade. I'm gonna pack that on the out of me. I'm sort of blend that through the crease a little bit. I wanted this to be a little higher. Okay, I'm just continuing to go into this shade with a smaller packing. Uh, I'm gonna pack that color on. And kind of like go over the crease a little bit. All right, back to a fluffing blending brush. This is from Poppy Cosmetics. It is in one of their sets. I'm gonna dip into this taupe and I wanna fluff that through the crease, kind of just like blend things out a little bit. And we're going to work on the outer V, kind of just like soften the edges up. And that kind of just like blended the deep blue away. I don't see the deep blue anymore. All right, I'm going back to just like pack on the more deep blue. And kind of just like hug it here. I just want to bring that deep blue back. All right, so I need to go into some sticky base. Um, I'm adding some glitter primer down. And then I wanna go into this shade again, get up and press it on again. All right, and then I wanna go in to try out the gold, same finger. I'm gonna pat that around this inner corner part. All right, this shade is giving me something at least. All right, now I'm gonna go into my lower lash line, just taking this shade on a flat top brush. This is the BH number no. five, and I'm gonna pop that around this, the center and outer corner. Just to go to connect. my outer V. All right, that's might as well use every shade. I'm going to this shade right here. I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lower lash line. Oh, 
don't know if you guys can tell. I feel like that blue shade just faded again. That deep blue shade just like it kind of disappeared. I don't know if you guys can tell. I think I'm gonna go back to the deep blue shade and I wanna pack that just on the outer V, very, very, very outer V. And I wanna add it back because where did it go? Okay, I'm taking a BH Marble Lux number seven blending. I'm dipping back into this gray, I don't know, this color and I'm trying to kind of just soften the edges. Okay, so for the brow bone area, let's highlight it with the pink shade, pink shimmer. And let's also do that on my inner corner. Okay, you guys, I'm back with the eyes done and it took me a lot longer than expected. I would say it takes me about another like 20, 30 minutes to finish this eye. I have to like reapply, reapply. I feel like these eyeshadows definitely grew some legs. I think they just like ran away for vacation and you have to keep on bringing it back. It's one of those formula. It's kind of strange, but I do like how it turned out. I'm not gonna say it's not pretty, but it does definitely takes time to kind of build up the pigmentation to what I like. So we have the final item to try it out, which is the lipsticks. I kind of just like plug it in. It's one of those like refillables and you just like push it in. Meanwhile, I kind of just like smudge the top because you know, there's this thing right here. You kind of need to take it off. Anyway, so this is the shade Cold Satin New Fiction Lipsticks. All right, now let's do a little swatches, swatch. All right, that's the color, nudie, peachy. Something that I think I would like. If they can mess up the lipstick, I don't know what to say, y'all. All right, let's try this one on first, just to see the color on my lips. No eyeliner, no anything else. It is one of those satin, creamy, like sheeny type of a formula. There is a scent to it. Not very strong. It doesn't smell like candy, vanilla or anything like that. It's like, I don't know. The scent is kind of faint. It's one of those like really faint. Okay, all right. All right, so overall the formula doesn't really feel like one of those like satin matte lipsticks. It feels like a glossy satin, if you know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of shine to it. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's one of those, feels hydrating, but not really because if you, if you zoom in closer, you can kind of see. The dryness so it's definitely not one of those like lipstick that's gonna smooth out your lip lines and give you like a full pigmentation it's more on the sheer side you will have to like build it for a couple more times i do like the color i think i'm gonna add a little bit of a lip liner and i shall see you in a little bit and give you guys some of my thoughts all right i'm back and i throw on a liner spice from mac and yeah i guess this is the finished look you guys <sighs> 
Can I tell you, I've never tried out a line of products and not really loving anything. I found it really, really confusing shopping on their site. It kind of make the process a little more complicated than it should be. Like on the website, you have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. And then when you finally get to the product, there's absolutely no hand swatches. So that kind of shows me they didn't really take this seriously. If they have like actually thought about it they would definitely include a swatches like how are you supposed to know what shade is what you know it is extremely confusing shopping on there so i know i have to do a video and come through for you guys and can i tell you i don't love anything <laughs> I really don't love anything from this line. I mean, the eyeshadows are probably the most okay thing. This eyeshadow palette is $25.90. For $26, you might as well get your Wet n Wild $3. Eyeshadow perform even better. Pigmented, smooth, it's just fucking beautiful. If you prefer to like build it and build it and build it, you might enjoy the formula. But for me personally, it's just like, it takes way too long for me. I feel like the gold shade that I'm wearing is kind of similar to the one from Natasha Denona, this gold, gold shade right here kind of reminds me of Natasha Denona's gold but let me do a comparison for you because Natasha's formula still is unbeatable this shade right here let me just swatch it do you see how foil Natasha's is and in comparison they're just like the shine is just so different still pretty but a little lackluster but natasha's is just like very very foil gorgeous it's everything um if you want to compare the natasha denona ritual palette this is 25 dollars you get five really really gorgeous shade this is 26 and you get six shades that are a little mediocre six shades this is $25, this is $26. Also, I do find this shade to be kind of muddy, a little hard to work with. The rest of the shimmer are okay. I feel like these two, especially this deeper shade kind of takes a long time to build and it, for some reason it will grow legs and just like went to vacations and shit. So I have to like keep on building it and building it. And I feel like the price point is quite up there middle range at that price point i really expect the quality to at least be good these products are made in italy but the quality is just not there it's weird after like the, my first time using it i just don't really care for it i don't want to reach for it again and also the packaging can we chat about the packaging it is kind of hard to open also just on the packaging, they all look exactly the same. There's no label, no nothing. I mean, I get that they're trying to do the refillable thing, but I will really appreciate it. At least you can tell me this is for bronzer. At least like put a label that says bronzer or something like that, like eyeshadow or cheek trio, you know, like give me something. Zara's beauty line is just a massive cash grab. I don't like it a bit. Everything is super just average, mediocre. This is giving me overpriced Dollar Tree kind of vibes. I just don't care for it. It's sad for me to say, I really want to love it, but everything I've tried so far was just like, eh, you didn't do anything exceptional the bronzer is a little splotchy the blush kind of grabs a certain area i had to go over of course my baby blur powder kind of saved the day but just mm, nothing was like made me super excited I thought zara beauty was just a huge letdown it just feels like a cash grab to me i don't love it also do comment down below let me know if you guys are interested in picking anything up from the line if you are do comment down below let me know which one are you most interested in and that's it for today's video i really hope that you guys find this video helpful if you do i would really really hope for you to subscribe that would means a lot to me and don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i love you guys i'll talk to you later